Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you to our channel on this uh, uh, beautiful day. We want to bless the Lord uh, for the gift of life. We want to bless Him for all the things that He has done. Like the psalmist would say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Who has healed all your diseases, who has rescued your life from the pit, who has renewed your age. Like the regal, hallelujah, amen, and amen. We have so many reasons to bless the name of the Lord. Let me welcome you to our church. Uh, uh, we are Solid Rock International Ministries, uh, and you can find us uh, in the estate of Jericho, uh, near the Jericho Market, which is opposite the Metropolitan Hospital, Buru Buru. Amen and amen. Our services start at 8 a.m., and we end at about 12 p.m. If you are looking for a local church, this is the place to come. Amen. And uh, if you have uh, loved ones uh, in the city and are looking for a local church, a place to belong and to become like Christ our Lord, this is the place for them. Can you recommend us to them and we shall bless the name of the Lord uh, for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are looking uh, uh, into the series of fellowship. We are looking, uh, we are diving deep into the series of fellowship. And uh, this is the second part. I uh, remember the first part we talked about uh, Genesis chapter 3 from verse number 8. And the topic was in the cool of the day. Uh, we looked at two reasons. Uh, why we should come to the place of fellowship and today we are in the second part of the full steps to fellowship series and today our topic is keep your head keep your head amen don't lose your head don't lose your mind keep your head why because we are going through difficult times as a country as families, we are going through difficult times because the times are hard. Amen. And why should we come to fellowship? Why should we keep on fellowshipping one with another? Praise be to God. Amen. As I said, uh, we are learning about fellowship and uh, we shall read from the book of 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 6. From verse number 26 that is the background uh, we are told that uh, in those days uh, that uh, Jerusalem not Jerusalem Samaria sorry Samaria was under siege from the king of Assyria and uh, it was so hard for them to to get food and water because they were under siege and we are told that even uh, the donkey's head, the donkey's head at value, it was sold for eight shekels. Very expensive. And the droppings of the dove, can you imagine? The dropping, the droppings of the doves had value. How difficult were those days? How difficult were those times that even the droppings of pigeons, of doves, were sold. Not the doves, but the droppings of the doves were sold. Very difficult times. And we are told that on this particular day, the king of Israel, the son of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. He was now the king of Israel. We are told that he was walking along the wall of Israel. And he saw two women, two women arguing. And one woman told the king, Lord, help me, my king. Help me. The king told the woman, If the Lord cannot help you, if God cannot help you, how can I help you? 
Shall I go to the wine press? Or shall I go to the store where they keep the barn or the wheat? If the Lord cannot help you, how can I help you? But the woman held on to the king. And the king had to tell, ask her, what, el what else you? What aileth thee from the new king from the King James Version? What aileth thee? What is the matter with you? The lady said, This woman, we had an agreement last night. We said and agreed, let us eat my son tonight, and tomorrow we will eat your son. That is how desperate the times were. That's how desperate the times were. And the woman told the king, We boiled my child and we ate. When it was time for her to give her child up, she hid her son. And we are told at the hearing of these words, 2 Kings chapter 6. And verse 31, the king, the son of Ahab, the king said, May God deal with me more so if the head of Elisha remains on him today. He made a decree. He made a decree and we are told when he was walking, he had sackcloth on him. He was in a period of, of fasting. We don't know whichever God he was fasting to. Maybe it was the Lord, but he was an evil king. And he said he was so evil. Now he wants to go and kill the prophet, this, the man of God. Because of the tough situation they were in. In the hard times, he was blaming God. And in the good times, he was worshipping his idols. What a bad leader he was. And he said, may God deal with me more severely if the head of Elisha remains on him. In verse number 32, we are told, but Elisha sat in his house. But Elisha was having fellowship with the elders of Israel. But Elisha sat in his house. They were having fellowship, reading the word of God and praying to the God of Israel. But Elisha sat, 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 32, sat in his house with the elders of Israel. And he said, he said to the elders, look, the son of the murderer, the son of Ahab, who was the murderer, the son of the murderer, has sent a messenger to take my head. Hallelujah. He has sent the messenger to take my head but when you hear the messenger come but when you hear the messenger come what do you need to do he said to the elders he said to the people with him having fellowship with him hold the door hold the door hold the door behind you hold the door behind you that he may not come in. That is our first point today. For us to keep our head. For us to keep our head. For us not to lose our head. In these difficult times. Where there is no food. Where there is no water. Where there are no jobs. Where there are no medicine. In the hospital. For you to keep your head. You have to hold the door behind you hold the door behind you fasten the new king james says fasten the door behind you fasten hold tight hold tight hold tight he cannot come in he cannot come in i remember when we were children and we would play games when you would get into the house and the other child would be right behind you trying to come in what would you do? You would stand at the door. You would stand at the door and use all your might 
all your might. When they are pushing, when they are pushing to get in, you are pushing against them. You're pushing yourself, you're pushing yourself against the door. Hold fast the door. Hold fast the door. Hold fast the door. Let the messenger not come in. The message from the devil, the son of the murderer, the message from the devil who wants to take your head, who wants you to lose your mind, let him not come into your house. Let him not come into the door of your heart. Let him not come into your house. Why? Because you are having fellowship. You are at the place of fellowship. Elisha was at the place of fellowship with the elders of Israel. And he said, fasten, fasten yourself against the door. Let not the messenger come in because he wants to come for my head. He shall not come for your head. You shall not go mad. You shall be sober. You shall not go down in alcoholism. You shall not go down. You shall not go down. Your head shall remain. Your head shall remain. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they say. And when they send the messenger, you will, you will put yourself in that position of the door, against the door. He shall not come in. Because while you are there, God, God will send the word. And that is why Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. When the king said, How much long shall I wait? How much long shall I wait? How much long shall I wait till the Lord comes? While you are fastening yourself against the door, the Lord says, Hear this by this time tomorrow. This was the word of Elisha in verse number 33 of, of, of 2 Kings chapter 6. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. By this time tomorrow. By this time tomorrow, a flow, hallelujah, one flow, hallelujah, a measure of flow, hallelujah, shall sell for one shekel, praise the Lord, and two measures of barley shall sell for one shekel, praise the Lord, hallelujah. He said that the situation will turn around, the situation will turn around, remember that the head the head of the donkey was selling for eight shekels, for eight shekels. But Elisha says, food now, good food, real food, human food will sell for one shekel. A flow, a measure of flow, a measure of flow shall sell for one shekel. Two measures of barley shall sell for one shekel. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. Hold tight. Hold tight. Amen. Don't let the messenger come in. You shall keep your head. Amen. And that is the reason why you should keep going to church. Even in the hard times, keep going to church. That was our number one point. Keep going to church. Keep having fellowship. Shut the door. Shut the door. That was our number one point. Secondly, our second point on why we should keep our head up. Amen. In the times of fellowship. Remember, we are looking at the footsteps to fellowship. Elisha said to the elders, while you shut yourself, while you shut yourself in, while you hold yourself against the door, that the messenger may not come in. You can hear the sound of the footsteps, the sound of the footsteps of the king of Israel, of the son of the murderer. Hallelujah. The sound of the footsteps. And our topic is the footsteps to fellowship. I can hear the sounds, the sound of the footstep, of the footstep of the king of Israel. I can hear the sound of his footsteps. He's coming. And number one, we've said we have to shut ourselves in, hold ourselves against the door. Number two, 2 Kings chapter 7 and verse 1, the official on whose son the king leaned, he said to Elisha, even if the Lord would open the windows of heaven, this can never happen. This can never happen. This is impossible. My second point on the sounds 
on the uh, uh, on, uh, on 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 this topic today on why we should keep having fellowship with God, how we should why we should keep having fellowship with God, going to church into the small groups. Amen. My second point is this: refuse to doubt, refuse to doubt. Hallelujah. When you hear the sounds, the sound of the footsteps, hallelujah, of the messenger telling you that this shall not happen, this shall not happen, you shall die, you shall not recover. Tell them, indeed God will open the windows of heaven, indeed God will make it happen. At this time, tomorrow, God will make it happen in the name of Jesus. God will make it happen happen in the name of Jesus. Do not doubt. Elisha told the man, you will see it with your eyes. You will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat of it. You will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat of it. As we come to the place of fellowship, in this series we are learning about the footsteps to fellowship. You know, the footsteps of the king of Israel. And of the messenger of death was to keep them from having fellowship. But we have seen we will fasten ourselves against the door. Amen. And number two, we will refuse to doubt. Because we will see it. We will see what the Lord will do. And we will eat of the land. We will eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to our channel. See you again next time. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Bye-bye. I love you so much with the love of the Lord. Amen.